Hello and welcome to Extreme Cloud IQ Controller. In this video, we will discuss subscription licensing for your version 1001 controller and outline how to upgrade your license to version 10. Extreme Cloud IQ Controller is available for subscription licensing only, leveraging a single SKU between the controller and Extreme Cloud IQ. A single SKU is required per device, allowing you to manage the device from either the controller or the cloud. The minimum Extreme Cloud IQ integration support is a Navigator license with the ability to support Extreme Cloud IQ Pilot. Extreme Cloud IQ manages the Navigator or Pilot entitlements for the number of managed APs and switches. To obtain an Extreme Cloud IQ controller subscription license, you need an Extreme Cloud IQ Navigator or Pilot Level account and an activation package that you can generate from the support portal. The activation package includes your customer unique ID, the capacity limits, and necessary certificates. When upgrading from Extreme Campus Controller to Extreme Cloud IQ Controller, consider the following. If you have a subscription license for Extreme Campus Controller version 5, your migration path to version 10 controller subscription is automatic. This includes the Extreme Cloud IQ Navigator license under the same licensing terms. If you have a perpetual license to Extreme Campus Controller version 5 with a subscription to Extreme Cloud IQ Site Engine, the AP capacity of the controllers is included in the Site Engine migration and therefore available upon upgrade. If you have a perpetual license to Extreme Campus Controller version 5 alone, you must contact your Extreme Network support team to determine your new subscription capacity. Let's get started. Sign up for a Navigator account. To get an Extreme Cloud IQ account, go to extremecloudiq.com and register for an account. Once you have an account, you can view your assigned regional data center in the browser address bar or under About Extreme Cloud IQ. Next, get the controller serial number or locking ID from the License Details tab on the controller. Next, we will access the Extreme Network's support portal. There is more than one way to navigate to the Service Contract Upgrade page. You can search for a contract by adoption key or activation key, or display a list of your available contracts. Use either navigation path in the support portal. Log into the Extreme Support Portal. Scroll down to the Support Activities and select Service Contracts Upgrade. You can search for contracts by adoption key or activation key. Check the contracts that you want to upgrade and select Request Upgrade. Another way that you can access your contracts is go to Support Service Contracts Home. A list of your contracts displays. The Request Upgrade button displays next to the contract that is to be upgraded. To see the assets associated with the upgraded contract, select the contract link. To upgrade, select Request Upgrade you will receive an email with a list of upgraded items. Now we will generate the activation key or package. You have the controller locking ID. From the support portal, go to Assets, Licenses Home, and select the Extreme Cloud IQ Controller Voucher ID line item from the list. On the Voucher Details page, select Generate Activation Key. Now, return to the controller instance from where you obtained the locking ID. Select the plus sign next to the activation package field and upload the package. Refresh the browser after installing the activation package. A green status icon indicates that the controller is in compliance with the license. Finally, 
On the controller, I want to show you the Entitlements tab and the Activations tab. Entitlements is a log of your available license capacity. This is the remaining balance on your account. The Entitlements number is not associated with a specific controller. The Activations page displays a view of consumed entitlements or activations. Activations indicate the number of devices the specific appliance is actively managing. Remember that an AP must be assigned to a device group and a site to be included in the list of activations. Now you are ready to onboard the controller to Extreme Cloud IQ. For information about onboarding your controller into the cloud, see the Extreme Cloud IQ Controller Deployment Guide.